Hi everybody, welcome back for another video today. Today's video is going to be something different that I have never done before here on my channel. And it's actually something that I've never done before at all. So I have been thinking a lot lately about food waste and how much food we waste in our family. I don't think that we waste like an outstanding amount of food because we eat most of the things that we buy. But every now and then I do go through the pantry or the refrigerator and I'm cleaning it out. And like the refrigerator, especially I'll, I'll find some lettuce or something that I'm like, wow, why didn't we eat this? So I want to get better about food waste and just about using things up in general before I buy more. So I decided that I'm going to be doing a monthly inventory of all of the food in my house. So just basically looking at what we have on hand, meals we have on hand, snacks we have on hand, et cetera, et cetera. And I figured that I would go ahead and make a video of it every month. And then from that inventory video, we can build our meal plan and my recipe videos and all of that type of stuff. I also think that I'm gonna start making a larger once a month grocery haul. Um, so you should be seeing that. Today is May the 3rd. I believe. So you should be seeing a larger grocery haul probably next Monday um, that I plan to do after I sort of go through all of this, the pantry, the deep freezer, the fridge and inside freezer, and find out what we have on hand. Because to be honest with you, especially that deep freezer out in the garage, I mean, I have a general idea of what's in there, but I'm sure there's going to be stuff that will surprise me. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go ahead and show you what the state of the pantry, the deep freezer, and the fridge and freezer inside looks like. And then we are going to start with one, probably the deep freezer. We're gonna pull everything out, look at it. I have my notebook, write it down. We're basically gonna look at what my stock is of food and what I need to get to fill things in. I'm also gonna be looking online for some printables of like good things to keep on hand in your pantry or your freezer or whatever. So if you have any tips about that, let me know down below as well. Without further ado, because this was a super long intro, intro. <laughs> um, let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna start with the deep freezer, like I said. Um, if you like this type of video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and let's get started. So no judgment, of course, but this is what our pantry is looking like. I've shown you guys this before. Of course, it was probably a little bit cleaner that time. Um, <sighs> Yeah, this whole side over here is pretty much just snacks. This is all Easter candy that I just really need to do stuff with. Like it goes three containers back. Like there's one there, one there, and one back there. The kids have not touched this Easter candy pretty much since Easter. Like they haven't eaten any of it. Um, and then up here, you know, we just have breakfast stuff, Velveeta's. Those are those nature's bakery bars stuff like that and drink mixes that we keep here as well. And then this is just literally all like chips and crackers and popcorn, some cereal. I definitely need to go through this shelf. And then the same thing up there is just, it's a mess. I think these are probably all bad. I need to check the date on those. Um, I pretty much probably need to pull everything out, like I said, and really give it a good like go through and cleaning. Um, just a bunch of crap down there, dog food, drinks, and then these are semi-organized. I mean, this one's all baking stuff. This one is all like pastas, like that's red wine vinegar, croutons, you know, like dinner type stuff. And then that one's mostly canned goods and pouches for Finley and stuff. And then that's all appliances up there. So semi-organized over there, but yeah, we definitely need to go through this and just kind of take a look of what we actually have on hand. Um, so that's the pantry. Let's go ahead and look at the refrigerator. So this is our fridge. And again, I mean, it's not a total disaster, but you guys have seen this before. I really am interested in getting a different fridge, like one that has the two doors for the fridge on the top and then the freezers on the bottom because this just, I don't know, this side by side just makes it really difficult to like know what's on hand because you have to dig so far deep for things or things get pushed to the back or whatever. So yeah, this is always a work in progress. I feel like I clean it and then it's a mess again, like the next morning. But I know that we have some stuff in here like cheeses and stuff that we, we need to use. So we're gonna take a look at that of course. And then there is the freezer. So this is our inside freezer. And this is where we keep most of the stuff that we use day to day. So like frozen vegetables, that ice cream is actually old. 
um, chicken nuggets, stuff like that that we eat more regularly. So yeah, that's what this, this freezer is looking like. And again, we're gonna take all of it out and take a look at what we got. Finley is throwing muffins at me. There's some dirt down there. Obviously, I actually think that might be ice cream. There's some on that side as well, so we need to wipe it down and just get it all set to have a good, successful May. Let's go look at the deep freezer. This is our deep freezer. When we open it, you can see that we, I mean, again, it really probably needs to be like um, defrosted or whatever, but I'm not sure I know how to do that. So um, this is pretty deep. Um, so we're gonna take everything out of here. We're gonna take it inside and put it on um, my kitchen counter and then go through it all and kind of make a list of what we have on hand. So that's where we're gonna start. I wanna go ahead and get all of this stuff laid out on the kitchen counter and then we will look at what we're working with. This is everything laid out on the kitchen counter. So everything that was in that freezer outside, we need to take a look at what all of this stuff actually is. So first off here, I see that we have some Italian sausages. So essentially what I'm gonna be doing is just taking my pen and jotting things down as we go through. So we have Italian sausage and then so on and so forth like that. I'm not gonna show you guys me writing everything down, but that's sort of what the plan is. This is actually some like flank steak or something like that that I'm actually gonna throw away because that does not look like it is good any longer. We have several of these brownies. These are those ones from Costco. I divided them into packs of four. We're gonna keep those because I know that we will eat them. Same thing with these muffins. So these are the Costco chocolate muffins. I separated them in one and there's a few still left that I found that have gotten like in the bottom. We have a whole roasted turkey. So that's obviously something that we can write down that can be used as a meal this week or within the month for sure. We have several of these and I think I'm just gonna throw these away. So they came from the school um, and they look freezer burnt and none of my kids have been eating them. So I don't know that we'll keep them. We have popping chicken. We have a few things of ground beef I see. So there is one here and then one here as well. So that's good to know that we have two packs of ground beef. So I don't know how long that ground beef has actually been there. Um, because it was in the bottom of the freezer, but we also have some frozen fruit on hand. There are some strawberries and then there's some blueberries back there. This is spaghetti sauce and I'm not going to throw this away, but I'm not sure that's what this one is as well. I'm not sure how long they last in the freezer. They've probably been there close to a year. So somebody let me know what you think. We have a few frozen pizzas, which is good to know for Kylie to have on hand for lunches. And then we have several like quicker things. Oh, there's a couple packs of the Kirkland um, chicken breast here. So that's good to know that we have two things of chicken breast. And then the remainder of this stuff is kind of just stuff that got lost in the bottom that we definitely need to just go ahead and use up. So we have some of those waffles that I did in that freezer cook. I actually only see one, which meant that we ate the rest of them. There's several packs of these um, sandwich buns in packs of two, which I did not know I had because I have been ordering them pretty much every week on uh, my Walmart grocery order. So it's good to know that I actually had some on hand. I found a meat lovers breakfast bowl for Chris. Some of these bar bar honey barbecue boneless chicken bites. This, these are the like cinnamon roll muffins from Costco. That's definitely an easy breakfast. Not sure how those got forgotten about. A few more packs of those brownies. So guys, we just basically had a bunch of stuff. This is that mesquite chicken breast that we like a lot, as well as some Tyson chicken strips. So essentially we just had a bunch of stuff that needs used up. Um, Finley's getting mad at me. She wants me to go back out to the garage. Th these are actually chimichangas that we froze to use as another meal. We have two packs of those. And then this whole basket is full of Chris's um, breakfast burritos that I made in that freezer prep with me. So it looks like he still has five or six of those. Some bagel bites. Yeah, it looks like there's about six of them. And then there's a couple more of those pizzas down here. So I'm gonna get all of this like as organized as I can, and then we're gonna put it back in the freezer. <laughs> Let's get going. So the biggest thing that I really wanna focus on organizing are things like meat that I know that we need to use. What? Yeah, here, you want this? As well as like some of the smaller like sweets and stuff that we just haven't been using. 
Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this basket and try to organize this a little bit better. So I'm gonna put all of Chris's burritos up front where he can grab them. And then I'm actually gonna fill the back with most of the sweets. So the brownies, the muffins, stuff like that, so that hopefully we will see them and eat them. That's the plan, right? So after we do that, I actually think, I don't know that I mentioned these, but they're expired, these um, ice cream sandwiches. So yeah, we got some waffles. And then I am gonna throw those chimichangas back on top just so that they don't get lost in the bottom of the freezer. That's kind of what my goal is, is to put all of the bigger stuff back in the bottom and then, yeah, back in the bottom and then the smaller stuff up top so that it's able to be seen. So this basket is all like the small little goodies and obviously that'll go right on top where we don't miss it. I'm gonna go ahead and get everything back in the freezer show you guys kind of what I'm getting rid of. So, so far I have written down that we have the Italian sausage, the roasted chicken, the ground beef. We had two things of chicken. And then there is the mesquite chicken breast. Of course, Finley's back there turning her things on. We have some hamburgers I see, and then some Tyson chicken strips. So those are all things that we can use to make meals out of. Oh, and we have a pull pack of this Kevin's cilantro lime chicken that I buy at Costco. So that is definitely at least one meal. Sometimes we can get two meals out of that if we like aren't super hungry or if one of the kids isn't eating it, something like that. So already just starting in this deep freezer, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, we have stuff for 12 meals, like main course meals, which is pretty good, a lot more than I thought. So we're gonna try and eat through all this stuff this month and hopefully be ready for a big Costco haul in June, I guess, after we get back on vacation. Okay, I'm gonna get all this stuff back in the freezer. I'll show you kind of how I organize it once it's done and then we'll move on to the inside freezer because that one's going to be, there's probably more in the inside freezer than there was in the outdoor freezer, so. Okay, so what I did was I threw most of like the hamburgers, the bags of chicken and all that stuff down on the very bottom, that turkey is down there as well. Stuff that is not little and won't get lost down there, I threw on the bottom. And then over on this side, which was like a little shelf, is actually those muffins from Costco and then like meat. So like the ground beef's down there, the sausages, those couple of things of chicken are down there and then those rolls as well. And then I'm just gonna take the basket here and see if I can do it without throwing it. <laughs> there we go. And sit it right on top. So this has like those chimichangas, Chris's um, breakfast burritos and all of that stuff in it. So I think that at least now I know what's in here. I've made the list and we should go through it. So let's get to the inside freezer. So I know for a fact that most of the stuff in the inside freezer is stuff that we go through more quickly and stuff that, like there shouldn't be a whole lot of bad things in here. Of course, as I say that, I pull out sweet potato fries from who knows when, so that are freezer burnt. So there shouldn't be, but maybe there is. One thing I'm noticing right off the bat that we're gonna need more of are peas and carrots. Finley goes for these like crazy, so that is definitely something that we're gonna have to grab. We have some sweet potato fries, which we eat pretty regularly. These are those flautas that we got at um, Costco that I also showed in a recipe video. So need to put those somewhere where we won't forget to use them. So I'm just gonna get all this stuff pulled out and then we'll kind of go through it the same way that we did the stuff from out in the other freezer. I have it all laid out here. One thing that I'm seeing is that we do not need any of these Michelonia's macaroni and cheese or even the um, top and chicken because there's a few of those down there as well. We don't need that. We don't need little pizzas because I found a whole thing of great value deep dish cheese pizzas that we've never even opened. Um, I'm also finding that we will not need these spicy chicken patties when we go to um, Sam's Club. I get those from Sam's because I have two bags of them and I probably would have just bought some just because. We are going to be needing meatballs, so we'll add that to the list. Um, I did find a few bags of like peas, just regular peas, but only one bag of peas and carrots. So we'll probably add a bag of peas and a bag of peas of carrots 
to the list as well. And then, yeah, these, this is pulled chicken and there's some pulled pork in there that we need to use up. So we need to add that to the list as a meal. Um, but other than that, like, like I did find some pancakes. We will need some more of those. Finley eats these like chocolate chip pancakes all the time for breakfast. And there's only one, two, three, four, five, eight left. And also guys, I found a little lone bag of breast milk. This is from March 8th, which is only four days after she was born um, of 2020, which I like, I feel like I should throw this out. That's probably not good anymore, but I'm keeping it. It's going back in my freezer. Um, we also have some mozzarella sticks back there. This whole thing of spicy wings, which is another meal. So let's go ahead and write down some of the stuff that we found here. So I'm just gonna walk over here. I am gonna put this stuff back in this freezer as well, just cause I feel like it'll be easier. I'm gonna Google about that one. So we found here the cheese pizzas that we need to eat through, the pulled chicken, chicken wings, and what else was it? Oh, we needed some peas and carrots. Need to make sure we add those to the list. But other than that, like, I think that we, you know, are doing pretty well in this freezer. Like I said, oh, we do have this that can be a meal. I'll write that down. These are some more of Chris's like breakfast burritos, the ones that I buy from just Walmart. So he sat on breakfast for a while, so I need to make sure that I don't order him anything for breakfast. So yeah, I'm gonna get the freezer wiped down, put all this back in, and then we'll just kind of take a look in my pantry, clean it out a little bit. I'm not sure that I'm gonna pull everything out of there, but I can just kind of look and peek and make a list of snacks that I know that we're gonna be needing for the month. So yeah, this grocery haul, I feel like it's going to be maybe one of the biggest ones I've ever done just because I'm trying to um, like guess what we're gonna need for the whole month. So I think it is very beneficial that I'm going through this to actually know what we have on hand before we start. So, okay, gonna go ahead and wipe down the freezer and then put all this stuff back in there. To wipe down the freezer, I'm just gonna use some of my favorite um, disinfecting wipes from Nice and Clean. It's not super messy, but I do just need to sort of, you know, wipe off the doors and stuff. You know what I actually think that brown stuff is? I actually think it's like a can of soda that somebody put in the freezer and it busted, so that's fun. I've got this organized hopefully in a way that I remember to use things up. So all on the top here, I put like those mac and cheese meals, the pizzas, and then just um, vegetables. And then down on the next shelf, I put stuff that I wanna remember to use up. So we have some turkey bacon here. There's actually two packs of it. The chicken patties, that breakfast pizza, and then the pulled chicken. And then down, we have a little helper here, <laughs> Finley's head. These are all like more chicken products, chicken tenders, chicken strips, um, Chris's breakfast burritos are back there, stuff that um, I know I'll use and I know I'll go looking for and won't forget about. And then stuff that we need like often, which is pretty much all of that stuff. And then her like pancakes and stuff I put on the door. And then I put my little lone <laughs> breast milk back up there on top. So this looks a lot better than it did before. She's sitting in there, you know, whatever. <laughs> Let's move on to the pantry. Definitely a little bit easier for me to just sort of take a look at and know what we need or what we may not need. Like just looking in here now, I know that we need to write down green beans as well as black beans to the list because those are both things that we eat pretty frequently and we don't have any on hand at all, which means we've eaten through our stock of them. So I'm just gonna show you guys kind of what I'm thinking about the pantry and what I'm gonna add to the list. And then I'm gonna show you the list at the end. So one of the main things I wanna get done is to really free up this area. I'm actually gonna get rid of most of the Easter candy. Um, and I plan to show you guys kind of this when I buy the haul, how I put it all away. So right now I'm just kind of walking you through what I'm going to do and what we are needing to refuel on. I can see that we're going to need some more of these nature's um, bars. There's only about five or six left in there, as well as probably the Belvedas because he's going through those very quickly. Um, I bought Pop-Tarts weekly and I'm still going to keep going weekly. I'm just not going to be buying. I'm going to try and buy as much as I can at the beginning of the month. So like I mentioned, this is where, this is the area where I'm probably going to need most things. We have a whole pack of rice. So we're not going to need that. We are going to need some elbow noodles, probably some macaroni, and then pretty much all things 
beans up here. So we don't have, I see we have one can of black beans and one, maybe two cans of green beans and then one can of mandarin. No, we have three cans of mandarin orange, so we should be good on that. Um, but we'll need some more mac and cheese, macaroni noodles, some like side type items for dinner. So like pastas, um, like rice aroni, stuff like that, that we will be needing. So I'm going to go ahead and make a list just based off of all of this stuff that I'm just kind of seeing that we're going to be needing and hopefully, um, it'll work. Um, I think we're good on like sugar and flour. That's actually all sugar, that one, that one, and that one. So, um, we might need flour, but we're good on sugar. We'll probably need some more coffee down there before the month is up. If we're trying to make it all of May, we will need some more coffee. We'll need trash bags. So there's a lot of stuff that I'm seeing here that I'm just going to write down on my list. And then I'm going to share the list with you guys. Let's get going on that. I have my list written down here of things that I'm thinking we're going to be needing before the month of May is up. We aren't going to be home a ton in May or we have a lot of events going on in May that will definitely reflect the amount of food that we'll need. My sister's getting married. We have a few birthday parties, my mom's birthday, Chris's mom's birthday, Mother's Day, like a lot's going on in May where like we won't need as many meals planned out. So I'm thinking that we're going, today's the third, like I said, so I'm thinking that we're going to be needing about 18 to 20 more meals, like dinner meal ideas to get us through the end of the month. And I probably have like 12 to 15 written down right here. And then even like, I mean, there's two packs of ground beef, two packs of chicken. So even more that I can like stretch with. Um, but I also want to be trying I, a lot of new recipes this month. Um, I'm going to try to get more into like deviating from our normal schedule and making up some new recipes or researching new recipes, etc. cetera. Um, I'll probably film that for you guys. So while I do have a lot on hand. I may actually sort of split it and stretch like half of this through May and then the other half of like normal meals through June so that I can fill in with some like funner recipes. So um, from the pantry, I just put down like trash bags, noodles, dinner sides, cereal bars, mac and cheese, crackers, you know, just kind of things. Spaghetti sauce, al al Alfredo sauce is a good one. We eat that a lot for like even quick lunches. I want to try and pick up some like canned fruit to try so that I can buy maybe like more bulk fruit in the beginning of the month and then towards the end of the month when we run out of the fresh stuff to start eating the canned stuff. So I'm thinking like we have mandarin oranges but I'm thinking like canned peaches, pears, Chris really likes pears, um, stuff like that. So I have those down on the list. Um, spaghetti noodles, goldfish, crackers, stuff like that, that I know that I would be buying at least a few times during the month. I want to try and buy it all at once in the beginning of the month. Um, I don't think we need dog food. Oh, juice boxes will be another one, especially with it getting, um, warmer. Like the kids will be outside more. So they'll need juice boxes or like even bottled water probably. And I'm sure Chris will need some sodas. So I'm like remembering things even as I'm just sitting here talking. So this is actually very therapeutic for me to be able to like talk to you guys and you know, think through what I actually need. I'm really enjoying making this video. So I hope you guys are enjoying it. Um, but yeah, so my plan now is to take this, make a meal plan and a grocery list based off of what we have on hand and what I know we need. And then on Monday, um, next Monday. So it'll be like the 10th. I'll actually share that meal plan and the grocery haul and list with you guys. So stay tuned for that. It should be a huge grocery haul. And I know those of you that love grocery hauls will love this one. So that's my new plan. Um, I'm hoping to, like I mentioned, get a lot of stuff in the beginning of the month and then throughout the month, like the other weekly grocery hauls will be smaller, but I'm hoping to, I don't know, maybe I won't share a whole meal plan at once. Maybe I'll share it like per week still. Um, I don't know. We'll see. I'm still new to this. Obviously I literally got this idea like yesterday and I was like, Oh, this is, this seems like a good way to prevent waste in my life. So we're going to try it. We're going to see what happens. Um, so stay tuned for part two of this video, which will be the list, the meals and the haul, which will come out next 
Monday. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that you liked getting to see a closer look inside my pantry and fridge. No, we didn't do the fridge. The freezers, specifically both freezers. I hope that you enjoyed that. If you did, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys on Monday. Bye guys.